Okay, so today I'll be showing you how to de-anodize aluminum. I have this off my Tractor Summit. I'll be de-anodizing this. And I'll be de-anodizing my all wheel nuts as long as the other one of these. So, first what you need is a heavy duty degreaser. I have Easy Off. This is the best one. And you'll just put your part into your bucket. And you'll spray this onto the part. And you want to cover it up like this. And you let this sit for about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. And check it, see if it's all the stuff is coming off and if it's not let it step for another 10 minutes or 5 minutes and check on it again and I'll get back to you when it's done okay so it's been about 10 minutes now uh, I'm gonna check on it Okay, so that came out pretty good. Uh, I'm going to leave this one in for a little bit more. You can still see a little bit of blue. I'll probably leave it in there for about five minutes and it should be good. So let's put a little bit more on there. Okay, I'm back. I guess I waited about probably 10 minutes. Yeah, it came off finally. Alright, so the next step is just to uh, polish it, and I'll show you how to do that. I'm using Neverdoll, and I'm using 3M Metal Polish. I'll show you how to polish it. Okay, so I'm going to use the 3M right now. Just dip your rag into it. Get some of that on there. Take your aluminum, get a little bit on there. And just wipe it. After doing a little bit of scrubbing, it'll look like this. Before it would look like this. But once you polish it, it'll look a little bit better. And if you keep doing it, it'll get uh, a cleaner finish. Here's one that I finished, and here's the wheel nuts that I finished. They're all polished up and everything. 
looking nice. But, the more you scrub the polish on there, the better it'll look.